since I'm in South Florida, we have a lot of pest species here. And my apartment is full of them. Honestly, things just, they just creep on in because I'm on the bottom floor. So today what I have for you is the newest invasion of my apartment. I don't know if you can see this, but I'll take a picture for you. Mm. They're actually moving. Oh, you see that one at the top there? It's moving. Now what the fuck is that, you might ask? Maybe you could see it better on this one. You see how it's, it's like this little case, and it's got this little worm inside that is inching along, dragging its case behind it. What that is, is the larvae of a case-bearing moth. Why is that a problem? Oftentimes they will get into your clothing and eat your woolen things. I don't really have anything woolen, but they eat other things. I don't really know what. Probably something with... I don't know, I'll find a link and put it in there and you can find out all about it. But if you see these things, that's what they are, and they're here in South Florida. This is just like one, two, three, four, five. There's another one out there. There's six, and I found those in like the last three days. Now, right now, there's there's a lot of um, humidity outside. Uh, there's been a lot of rainfall, and that often causes pests to come into your home. Um, there's usually some humidity in your home that's like at a better gradient for them. However, they get inside your home and then realize, oh crap, it's not really that humid in here, and then they die because insects need humidity. That's why there's so many of them in South Florida. Next time I'll probably tell you about one of the other many pests that crawl into my apartment. Until then, you can enjoy a video of a case-bearing moth crawling around on my desk.